show you around the normal way, which won't look massively impressive. I'm using cheat fly and could the fake sun come back, please? Um. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Tim o Redbeard, and this is Arc Genesis. Before we jump into it, I just want to talk to you guys about a few things. But first off, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. Consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to caress that notification bell. Last uh, four episodes on Arc, um, there were lots of ups and downs. Dino's dying. Dino's being tamed. Dino's dying. Dino's being tamed. Me dying. Me dying. Dino's dying. Dino's being tamed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I wanted to ask you guys, and please let me know in the comments below. Um, would you prefer to see the whole journey? Or at least the majority of the journey, like I've been showing you so far? Or would you prefer me to show you more episodic content like... Uh, this episode, we tame specifically this dino, and this episode, we build our new base. This episode, we do this, and I basically cut out all of the in-between, all of the fucking up, all of the problems and all of that, and I just do very specific things. Or would you prefer to see it as like a, as like a real blind playthrough, sort of like my progression at all stages? Please do let me know. I'm really interested to know. But otherwise, I'm not going to hold you any further from the content. Let's get into this. Hello, 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 and we are here. Uh, we have a real need for cementing paste. As you will probably know, here, would you look at that? As you probably know by the title of this video. Uh, and unfortunately, I went around for the last maybe, I don't know, half an hour or so, but maybe a bit longer than half an hour, um, hunting uh, with the Sarko, with Mr. Snappy Jaws, leveling him up. Uh, for to get chitin and uh, stuff like that and it went okay it went okay but after I got the first sort of like delivery back to base I realized oh this is nowhere near enough <laughs> so I thought where do I get cementing paste and I realized I had a cementing base machine before it died let's get a new one so we came across this frog. Level 90, so way higher than Mrs. Frogo was. Mrs. Frogo was level 20. Um, and, well, yeah, you just watched it get tamed in front of your eyes. So we're going to call this one Mrs. Frogo Mark 2. Welcome to the squad, Mrs. Frogo. Mrs. Frogo Mark 2 is level 134, which is very good. Health is not great, though. Health is not great. If you have a look over here, this is Mr. Snappy Jaws, level 117. Mr. Snappy Jaws has 6,000 health. Uh, so, we might need to work on that one. Um, in terms, uh, we have a Sarko saddle. We don't have a Bezel Bufo saddle. What do we need? <laughs> Funnily enough, cementing paste. Fiber and wood isn't too much of a problem, but we're just going to have to take Mrs. Frogo home and home is this direction you following mrs frogo yep home is along here not getting stuck good so the plan is and this is just going to be a little short segment i just started recording because i realized oh crap i'm taming something you guys probably want to see that uh, <laughs> um, we're just going to get Mrs. Frogo saddled up and then I'm going to take her out and kill a bunch of insects with her, get her leveled up, grab a bunch of slanting paste and then we will be back um, when I've got enough to the point where I can start putting together some ocean platforms and we can start building our ocean base well <laughs> uh, yeah I knew frogs were pretty good at getting cementing paste. I didn't realize they were that good. 
at getting cementing paste. 1500 cementing paste and 2000 chitin for a, I don't know, like a 25 minute jaunt around the bog. Finding what insects I can. Slapping them up with my tongue. <laughs> well, with Miss Farrow's tongue. You know, but yeah. Uh, good. We are good. <laughs> So Mrs. Frogger, the fantastic thing she is, is also a very good defense against insect swarms. Whenever I get a, you've been targeted by an insect swarm when I'm in this area, I just hop onto Mrs. Frogger. I'll swing my tongue around a bit and I get cementing paste. It's great. <laughs> so we need... Probably. We haven't got enough wood? Ah. No. Just put it in here, didn't I? Alright. It's fine. Easily rectified. Easily rectified. It's 1,200 per platform. I want to get... Kind of five platforms, but four platforms will do for now. I want to make a little teleportation area where I can move the dinos that I want to teleport out onto the fifth platform. Um, and from there, um, I can teleport a uh, biome using Helena without needing to worry about, uh, you know, your standard uh, taking the wrong dinos with you sort of situation like we did with Poopy, Mr. P Poopy McPooperson uh, in one of the first episodes. Second episode maybe third actually yeah forgetting them already we only just started <laughs> so we're just gonna hit some wood here real quick we want you know sort of like five thousand we've got three thousand nine hundred and then we're gonna go craft some ocean platforms I hit this. Hey. And this area suddenly looks very different with all the trees gone, doesn't it? It looks very different. <laughs> That'll all come back. Well, most of them. The ones that are a bit too close to here probably won't come back, but... And I have a level up available. There goes plenty of wood there now. So, uh, two level ups available. Into health. Thank you very much. Level 73. Oh, we can craft. Uh, we can get some flak armor here, actually. That would be super useful. It would uh, quintuple our armor value from 100 to 500. So, you know. Hmm. Ocean platform. Have we got enough for five? I've got enough for five. Bam, let's go. Five. And then we're going to take Mr. Snappy Jaws to the ocean biome. I'm going to go get this started. So, uh, I'll bring you guys back. Uh, when I found a nice little spot in the ocean biome that we want to set up home. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy. So, here we are. The ocean biome. Uh, one thing I did notice uh, coming across here uh, is that it's actually quite hard to find a spot of ocean that isn't an active mission zone. <laughs> I uh, swam around the open ocean for a while uh, trying to find a place that wasn't an active mission zone. Now I'm thinking, and I just realised that this could be really cool. Um, there's a bunch of islands surrounding this area, right? We're like in the middle of this like fist of islands almost. Once we got the right materials, we could set up zip lines between the base and all of these islands. How cool would that be? You just have like the base in the middle with the platforms and everything set up. Then you can just zip line out to all the different islands. That'd be really cool, right? Yeah. 
but at least I think so. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to set up right here. Um, doesn't seem like it's too dangerous, the waters here. Uh, we had, we ran into one low level Megalodon, but other than that, um, it seems pretty good. Um, we've got all sorts of like plant life. There's Mega Shellons over there. There's a Manta there. And deep down below, we have somewhere along this valley. It might be a little bit deeper. There's a glitch there. Let's grab that real quick. Hello. Yeah, that's it. Did you feel a bit disjointed when you woke up in simulation? That's normal. Your personality and your memories are stored in huge memory banks. And then they get combined with a physical body inside the Genesis simulation. Once that combination of mind and body happens, though, you're on your own. Well, you've got me, of course. That counts for something. Interesting. Fair enough. Um, yeah, we have... Oh, is this just regular stone? Oh, okay. I thought that was kind of something special. I was wrong. Um, I know that there are, like, along this, the ocean floor somewhere around here. There is some obsidian. I did find obsidian. Maybe it's deeper down. Anyway, the oceans in Genesis go very, very deep. <laughs> I noticed. Anyway, let's go back... But like I was saying, the ocean here seems pretty tame. Doesn't seem too bad at all. Um, we got fishies. We got lots of uh, turtles. And not a huge much else. Some mantas, some eels. Nothing too dangerous. And I have another level up. Two level ups. Oh, from the the uh, glitch, right? Uh, we want more health? Yeah, we want more health. So anyway, yeah, this is where I think we're going to set up the ocean stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm going to... I think if I can just do this. I can. Oh, so is that... Those are the mission bits, right? So I can't build where those mission bits are. But that's fine, because I can just do so. And the lovely thing about the S plus. Oh, I'm not gonna get up. Oh dear. The lovely thing about the S plus Ocean platforms is that they have snapping points. Which is beautiful. So this right here is going to be our main location of uh, operations to start off with at least. We'll do other builds throughout the series in different locations, in different biomes, some decorative, some purposeful. But I believe this is going to be the start of our new base. Now the no build area was over there, right? So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to build... Let me get into the middle of this one. Yeah. Let's get this nice and lined up. We get the bottom of the screen lined up perfectly with this, like so. And then we can go to K mode. Oh, that's not helpful at all. Uh, okay. One eternity later. It lined up. There we go. Make sure we're nice and on the middle there. And bam. Right. So that platform. We'll build a bridge out to that platform. And that platform is going to be our teleportation platform. So we'll be able to take things out to that platform. Uh, and we'll make sure we won't build out any further than this on this side. We might build out in other directions, but no further out on this side. So when we want to teleport to another biome, we can go over to that platform, hit the teleportation thing, and we won't risk taking anything on the rest of the base with us. Which would be ideal. 
Now, I think what I'll probably end up doing is turning this in the future into a 3x3. Three three. Oh, that's the edge of the biome right there. I did not realize that was the edge of the biome. But that's okay. Kind of helps us find it if we're on the very uh, western edge of the biome. It also means when we teleport back to the ocean, we can use the teleport west and we should be pretty close. I jumped off forgetting that I can't get back up. <laughs> also, I just noticed that Mr. Snappy Jaws has a blue mutation. How cool is that? How did I not notice this before? Uh... <laughs> okay, Mega Shellon. All right, my dude. Um, yeah, Mr. Snappy Jaws actually has. I, I want my, maybe in the bog, in the bog biome, it was like really hard to see because it was so dark in there, like all the lighting so dark. But look, look at that beautiful blue. That's gorgeous, actually. Huh. Oh, would you would you look at that? That's a beautiful blue mut mutation. Not that I'm getting into breeding anytime soon, because I'm not. I'm not getting into breeding anytime soon, but uh, still. We need to work out now uh, how to get the resources we want, and we might actually end up... It might be easier to go back to the bog to farm the resources to get this place sort of more substantiated. Um, so I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to go and head back to the bog. Let's uh, say hi to Helena. Biome teleportation. Bog. Northwest. Let's go. I like that they color code the teleportation domes. So if you go into the bog, it's green. If you're going to the ocean, it's blue. I uh, haven't done any of uh, the other, but I imagine Volcanic is probably red. I imagine Luna is probably like a pale, pale whitish yeah. color. And, uh, oh, maybe the snow, maybe the Arctic biome is pale whitish. I don't know what the Luna one is. Maybe it's like a purpley color. Let's, uh, it is... Halloween at the moment, which is why we've got fear, uh, we've got like, things popping up like that all over the place, like the scarecrow and the headstones. Are we going in the right direction? We are. Beautiful looking tree that, isn't it? the edge of the biome. Okay, we need to go round this way. But you know what, guys? I'm not going to bore you with more resource collection. I'm going to go farm up a bunch of materials and I'll meet you back in the ocean biome at the new base and uh, we'll get to some building. Alright, here we are. We've uh, grabbed some building materials, went and hit a bunch of stone, bit of wood, bit of thatch, got a bunch of this stuff. And we're, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a build here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the camera. And I'm going to speed this section up massively. So that you get to watch the whole process. But you get to see it at speed. Uh, I hope you enjoy. And uh, catch you afterwards. I've been up for three nights. My eyes are bloodshot red. Damn, I want to see the sunshine. It's getting to my head One look in the mirror Don't like what I find I know that somewhere in there There's a good guy But he runs away At midnight I'm sorry
perfect and I wish I were the same Making bad decisions, it should be my middle name I love playing with fire, it's my favorite guy uh, Watch me burn my whole house down, I feel a thing So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it turns out we didn't have enough resources. So uh, there's a blip in the middle of all that where I go off and go and farm some more resources. Um, also, I don't have a flyer that I can use to show this off to you guys. So uh, for just now, uh, I'm using cheap fly. Uh, I don't use any admin commands during this whole playthrough. But just to show this build off to you guys without having to like show you around the normal way, which won't look massively impressive. I'm using cheap fly and could the... Fake sun, come back, please. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, what we accomplished. Now, this um, you might be wondering what this uh, this little um, overhang bit is here. Uh, that is to connect onto this next uh, piece. So we're gonna have like a walkway system. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make some changes to this. I'm not massively happy with it, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's got like a barn style aesthetic made out of stone with the thatch roofing. Um, little, uh, little windowed bit here to get more light in, make it look nice and natural. Um, and then we've got walls on two sides and we've got this lovely little view out on this side. And then this will lead into the walkway on this side. Um, yeah. It's home. I'm going to uh, go and uh, start moving the other bits across, the smithy and other uh, interior bits. And yeah, when we come back next episode, I think we're going to go for a bit of an explore. Maybe try and do some missions or maybe go try and find a dino to tame. Not sure what yet, but I'm loving this place so far. Um, I think this base is going to end up looking really, really good. 
uh, when we get it sorted. So that's going to be super cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Timo Redbeard. You guys have been awesome. If you did like this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing and don't forget to caress that notification bell. If you enjoy this style of building episode, please let me know in the comments below. If you would prefer to me to go it slower and go through my thought process while I'm building, then please let me know that too. I'd love to hear your feedback as always. Thank you so much. Till next time. Take care.